can concrete freeze? Well, as a concrete specialist who happens to live in the great white north, I know a little bit about frozen concrete and it's absolutely fine. Freezing concrete is as normal as can be, but I guess maybe there's a little bit of information that you should know. Because there is some stuff that can happen which would be detrimental to your concrete relating to freezing or freeze and thaw more specifically and maybe even a, a note here for de-icing salts as well. There's a couple of different things but they all kind of boil down to the same failure which is spalling of the surface of your concrete. And what happens here is let's say we have some snow. So the snow falls it's sitting on top of the concrete, but then it kind of warms up a little bit and the snow melts a little bit and the concrete absorbs that water. But oh wait, suddenly it froze. Now what? So you've got all this water trapped within the concrete and when it freezes, it expands. And that expansive force is so destructive. Nothing can stop it. It'll break anything and it'll certainly break the surface of your concrete. Now the way that we deal with that is anytime that there is concrete which is intended for a climate where it's going to be exposed to frozen conditions, you have to use a product called Air Entrainer. Air Entrainer is just one of the admixtures which you might add. Like if you called your local ready mix concrete supplier and tried to order some, some concrete, they would have a bunch of questions for you. What's the slump? What's the strength of the mix you're looking for? Do you need to slow down the set time? Do you need to speed up the set time? Is this concrete going to be exposed to freezing conditions? And if so, you're gonna have a conversation about air and trainer and how you have to add it. And if you're wondering what air and trainer is, just picture adding soap. We're gonna add a little teensy bit of soap to the concrete mix spin it around in the drum or the barrel or however you're mixing it and as you could imagine you're going to end up with a bunch of little bubbles little tiny bubbles so those bubbles stay there and the concrete sets after it's been placed and finished and eventually you're left with these tiny little hollow pockets these tiny little hollow pockets where the bubbles used to be and in the long term those little hollow pockets are the protection against freeze and thaw cycles relating to concrete that's in freezing areas or freezing climates. In the same way that water can be absorbed and then freeze and cause damage, de-icing salts can kind of cause a similar situation where we make a saline solution, basically salt water, and that melts the ice, but now that salt water absorbs into the concrete. And as the water disappears or dissipates, you're left with the salt crystals. And the same deal is with the water. The salt crystals, the crystal growth, is in a, a destructive force if you try to put it in a bottle or to capture it. So there needs to be space for that to happen. And there really isn't with the de-icing salts. With the freeze and thaw situation, we can use the air and trainer. But with de-icing salts, you really can't do enough to protect the concrete. And that's why generally they say don't use de-icing salts with concrete because it's going to damage the surface through this destructive process. The only other thing I would want you to know about concrete and freezing is that typically speaking, something like using a concrete sealer might be one of the ways that you can protect concrete against the destructive forces associated with freezing conditions. Concrete sealers help to make the surface of the concrete less permeable to water. So the water won't as readily absorb into the surface and that kind of solves a lot of these problems that we've been talking about here. And so that's why that's one of your frontline solutions to protecting concrete in freezing climates. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you're gonna learn a ton about how to work with concrete. I'll see you soon.